We have a bunch of rolly blocks. We have my phone. We have a computer. We also have the S25. If I could say anything to anybody about these blocks and the keyboard, by all means, buy the keyboard. These things do not serve its purpose and I'm going to explain why as quickly as possible because I know your time you don't like to waste any time in terms of hearing this information I am going to go down the list very quickly here about the issues I've encountered first of all I bought these things four months ago or five months in, the, in April of 2017 these are the things that I've encountered since then number one Charging four blocks, including the live block and the loop block, which Rolly says you can do, takes an extremely long time to charge up. You may end up spending an entire night, and even after an entire night, when you look at the lights on the blocks, they may not say that they're totally green, which means those that are green you have to pull out and you still have to continue the charge. These are things you have to do every single time the blocks have a power that tends to die out. Unless you try to keep the blocks connected to a cable, which if you look at any of these YouTube videos, they don't show that. And I'm very curious about how long these blocks really do survive off of battery before they're completely dead. Number two, the firmware update issues. Uh, I had some issues with the firmware, which you'll see in this video if you'd like to see it. Number three, the battery's not holding a charge. Where, you know, I would charge them up, they're green, and, and then at two days later, they're dead. Number four, the five-dimensional touch on the blocks do not match to that of the Rolly keyboard. The Rolly keyboard has a rubbery gel-like uh, interface when you press your fingers on it or if you strike on it. It is more realistic to get those sounds that you see on YouTube than you do on the blocks because the blocks do not offer that and you'll see a little bit of that in this video as well. Um, I guess I'm going to have to end up finding my uh, cable on that. So. First things first, all these blocks that I have here I charged and these blocks, um, this one in particular, I fully charged it just two days ago and I turned it off. I turn it, try to turn it on right now, it, nothing's happening. It's not charged at all. So I'm just trying to share that these are the things that you may encounter. These batteries whatever's in here once once they're dead I mean you have to connect them and you're only bound to the connection with these things you cannot take this apart and put a new battery like double A batteries in here this is a problem and when you're spending hundred seventy nine dollars on these things you can see where I'm going with that so you have that situation and granted I bought these things in April and this is what I get now. Number two, you know, let's turn this one on. This one, see, it turns on. You know, you can easily see that it is on. Got the lights there. It's fully charged. It's green here. It's fully charged. And now I'm going to go to my phone because apparently on this computer here on the blocks dashboard, it's telling me that this device here has to upgrade its firmware. And this is something that you will have to go through too, uh, with noise in particular. Now, I want to talk a little bit about noise in general here. Noise is not a DAW. So once you create and write songs in here, the only place you're going to be able to send those to is iTunes. If you want to implement other instruments and you wanted to go somewhere beyond this, let's say you have a DAW. Uh, you you want to experience the fullness of music and a DAW gives you unlimited potentials uh, you can buy hundreds and thousands of dollars of plugins that this thing here will be able to play supposedly normally it probably will because I've tried this with SWAMS this is an MPE device so it connects very well with 
a SWAMS like um, plugin. So, but going back to this, uh, I realize here, you know, I'm checking the firmware here. So I'm going to go into here. I have to turn off my Bluetooth and then I'm going to turn it back on so it gets this dialog box. This is an Android device, it's not a Mac iOS. And if you're a Mac iOS person here, disregard this video. It has nothing to do with you because this video is exclusively all PC Android based stuff. I should have mentioned this in the beginning, so my apologies that I didn't do that. So anyways, we don't see, you know, the device that I didn't hear. I'm going to hide this because I don't want Windows Creative on my laptop. And so it's searching. I'm going to wait till it stops searches. This is running. So it should be able to recognize that and it should update the firmware. But let's look and see what we get here in terms of the problem that I'm faced with here. So it stopped. There it is, the light pad block. It recognized that. And I click on this so that it would recognize it. And see, light pad block declined your pairing request. I try to repeat it. It just doesn't work. I don't understand this. I, and I don't have the time to go to technical support all the time and technical support is not open 24 hours seven days a week so this is a disaster um, it just does not serve its purpose completely so I mean if I can't get the firmware to work most likely when I had set this up on my DAW it's not going to work either and we'll try that out real quickly I've got my cable here we will plug this in Find where I did, we're going to plug it right in there. And you can see that it's coming up. Let's see what happens when, you know, I could probably load it. I already have this up in here. I have SWAMs. And my apologies if I can't get this cable around this thing here. And I know how to configure SWAMs to recognize NPE. Because I've done this enough times. I go in here and I say with this top one up here learn that's all I really need to do and it really should and it does of course you probably don't hear it but you see I'm not getting uh, when I use this here it's not like see it, it hangs I don't understand that So there's some funny things that go on. Maybe the new blocks, these are the old blocks. There's a new pair that's out, which kind of makes me feel a little bit disappointed that they did that. And I said, well, why do I want to spend another $700, $800 on blocks when even these don't work as good as they do? See, I, can, I just don't get the same thing that the videos demonstrate. Now let's do something different. Let's take this out. I'm going to turn this off. And let's go directly to... I'm going to we'll remove this first here so that, that we, we're, we're, we, want to, we want to see the very genuineness. And it seems like this got hung. So I'm going to say no. We're going to plug this in on the rolly s25 now granted i want to let everybody know i have both the s25 and the 49 okay so i got cut off on the video so what i'm trying to say is i can actually see the bending The, the genuineness of using the keyboard is that it works better. So it, what I'm trying to say is, and I, I, there are others. There's the Strobe 2 that I have as a plug-in that's in uh, Studio One. I don't want to take up much people's time with this. I just want to let people know that 
there's a lot to go with this. These are battery operated, and when they're dead, they're dead. But with this unit, unless you connect it, but then the thing is, is charging these things take a long time too. I want you to understand that when you put two of these in, you're looking at four hours, five hours to charge. You add more into this that's six, seven hours to charge. It's not something that charges instantaneously off of one cable. Now, Rolly would be, it would be good like the Electron Hub. The Electron Hub has seven USB ports and you have a power adapter. You can connect each one of these to those USB ports. Rolly should come up with something like that. In addition to the blocks, you have the live pad block and the loop block. And, but those really are dependent on having a light pad block with the cable connected. That is the only time you're able to do that. And in order for those light pad blocks, uh, the live pad block and the loop block, boy, these names, you know, for them to be charged. So there is no cable to those uh, components. And it really becomes more cumbersome. Um, I can have one cable onto my keyboard and I can have my drums. I can split things on the keyboard. I can do a lot of things on the Rise and the 48. But the blocks seem to be more of a problem. It's a problem trying to get each one of those blocks connected. They're individual instruments and it causes more problems than a, than a blessing in disguise. I hope that this information helps, you know, in regards to understanding blocks. I would not recommend purchasing them. And I want to leave with this final statement for everybody. If you love God, well, if you love music the way you love God, you will never be the same. You know, the music will speak things to glorify Him, and it will be an eternal blessing for you and for others because the music will never end. Have a blessed evening.